Now that the government has offered three-month temporary visas to foreign workers to come over to help with Christmas poultry, other sectors are demanding help too. Pig farmers are still suffering the consequences of labour shortfalls in abattoirs, with more than 100,000 animals stuck on farms. Zoe Davis from the National Pig Association told me they believe they should have been included in the temporary visa scheme. The poultry visa scheme is largely, we understand, related to Turkey. So you know, for government, this is about saving Christmas. And that's really disappointing for us because we have been trying for, for weeks on end to try to get them to understand that this, this situation is about animals' lives. It's about welfare on farms. It's, you know, it's a critical situation that's getting worse begging them to do something about it and the one opportunity they had to do something meaningful, they just completely ignored it and rebuffed us. How much difference would three-month visas really make to farmers and to animal welfare? So basically anything we can do to increase the supply of labour into those processing plants just to allow us to take the top off those, the backlog of those pigs would help. This is, though, surely a longer-term problem, though, as well, isn't it? What do you want to see beyond Christmas? Yes, it is a longer-term problem. What we really need is for the Home Office to recognise the fact that their immigration policy needs to change. It needs to be flexible to reflect the requirements of the jobs in this country. Now, we've been told ad infinitum that we should be employing people from this country, that we should take people coming off furlough. And the problem is these companies have been desperately trying to promote, to encourage, to running apprenticeship schemes, being flexible in their approach, trying to get the local people to want to work. And the, the bottom line is people do not want to work in abattoirs. And that's why we've become so reliant on labour from Eastern Europe in the first place. You know, three months and five and a half thousand people, that, you know, that, that's only a very short window for a very specific trade. It's not going to help longer term and it's not going to help across the board. So, you know, they really need to start coming up with something that is actually going to have some sort of positive impact going forward. We need the help now and we need it very soon. Otherwise, we're, we are going to be in a real, really bad situation. Zoe Davis from the National Pig Association. We asked for a response from DEFRA. No one was available, 